Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the June Nico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. I uh, hope you enjoy, enjoy the intro as much as I'm uh, showing you the intro. Uh, Aruba is kind of fun, so definitely check it out if you have a chance. Uh, as you can see, I'm just doing a lot of hiking and seeing the shoreline and the, just a lot of beautiful, beautiful places. Anyway. Today's problem is 1658, minimum operations to reduce X to zero. Okay, what does that mean? So in one operation, you can remove the leftmost or rightmost element from the array nums and subtract its value from X. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. So basically, it seems like you can only remove from the left or the rightmost, right? So the, um, immediately... I'm, I'm thinking about, the first thing I think about is, how, is there a way I can do a brute force, right? Um, and the idea, I mean, of course, obviously, you can do brute force, brute force, but not brute force in the sense that you're that brute, but maybe brute force in a way that you're just checking every possible solution. And here, I think there is, right? The, the way that I'm thinking about it is that, okay, for example, given this uh, array here, um, I'm, I'm trying to see, okay, let's say if I, I use one number from the left and I have one and then we're trying to get X. Well, now we're just trying to think a, a suffix away of, okay, looking at the suffix, is there something that, okay, I forget, let's say X is equal to five. Let's say we, we have a prefix of one. Is there a four uh, in the suffix, right? Does that exist? Um, let's say we have two. Is there a three that exists? And the answer is yes. And of course, in this case, this takes um, this takes uh, what you might call it. Um, this takes three moves. So then you check it out, right? One, one, three, uh, and then three is equal to three moves. Um, and of course, I actually skipped a step where you have no numbers from the left and you have two numbers from the right, and that's five. So that's uh, two steps, right? Stuff like that, and then you keep on checking. So that's going to be my initial goal. And then the second thing is that, okay, um, and, and of course I'm jumping a little bit ahead in my mind to check the feasibility, is that on the right side, we can just have a lookup table, right? Um, one thing that I'm going to check on is whether, what, what's the range of the number, meaning if they're negative numbers, it complicates things in terms of trying to minimize. Um, but I think that should be actually even... Min I, uh, let's take a look. Okay, actually, it's only positive numbers, but even with negative numbers, I think it's okay. You can choose um, how many numbers to use, but there is some nuance. Uh, I mean, there are like a little, uh, just like one edge case, depending on how you want to, how you write the code of if they have overlap, right? Can you see me? Yeah, if they overlap, then obviously you have to check for that. But without negative numbers, it's not possible to have an overlap. Um, yeah, right, because, uh, wait, is that true? No, I guess it is possible to have an overlap, so you still have to check for it, but but you can also check it in an easier way because if, if there's an overlap, that means that the total of nums is um, bigger than X, right? So, or smaller than X, sorry. Then that means that it's not possible. So, okay, so here we can maybe just write this out real quick. If this is less than X, then we return negative one because it's not possible. Um, there are other ways to be not possible, so that's not the only way, but that's one way. And that is the case where overlap would happen. And, and if you think about it, overlap happens when that means that the middle, the overlap part is counted multiple times, meaning that to get to X, you have to count multiple times. So that's what this case does. Um, okay, so then now, now what, what I'm going to do is just have a suffix scene type thing. Um, and it is kind of what it see, looks like maybe. Um, and so you can do a suffix array and then maybe do a binary search on it. That's one way to do it. Um, the way that I'm going to do is just have a lookup table. So this is a thing. And yeah, so can it, can it have zero? I guess it cannot have zero. So I'm just, I'm just looking at constraint. Zero is equal to zero, right? So if you need the number zero, then you need zero from the suffix. Otherwise, for x in nums uh, reversed of this, uh, I guess we I guess we should use actually reversed. 
um, because I think that actually returns an iterator versus uh, so that it's slightly more efficient if you know what I'm talking about. If not, that's fine too. Um, so yeah, current is equal to zero and then current we add x and then x is you go to um i guess we have to enumerate this from one right yeah i think this is right um just checking for an off by one but uh, i don't know and typos in general but yeah so zero three is, is one two uh five should be hmm, this is awkward oh 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 i use okay this is why you check things uh that is a very silly mistake i actually did not i was confident about it but sometimes you can be confident and still wrong uh and actually for me many many times but now it just looks okay um so then now we can do for left right so in enumerate nums if uh okay so now now we're looking at the prefix right so current oh well mm, okay we have to do a few things best is equal to z um okay is equal to some infinity this is just a big number you can choose any best number it doesn't really matter um uh, actually let's make this so that because we can reuse it in a way you'll see later um, yeah, and then here we have to check um, if suffix seen or if uh, x is in suffix seen, then best is equal to min of best suffix seen of x. Oh, uh, okay, I'm going to change this to target. That's why I, I was trying, that's why this feels a little awkward because I, I use x here as well and here because I don't know. Also, that's just a terrible way of mm yeah anyway um yeah so if that means that using no numbers from the prefix and all the numbers that we can on the suffix this is the result otherwise i'd like to move this closer to the code so let's set it to current is equal to zero uh x and then if so you know you could do the equation really quickly target is equal to to some current plus some some suffix so now target minus current is equal to some suffix that we're going to search for so then that's basically it right so uh if target minus current in suffix seen um best is the, then that means that we gotta look it up so suffix seen of target minus current plus uh i plus one right i suppose for the number uh, i guess we could have started this on one as well actually uh, basically, the idea here is that this is not the i, this is just the, the number of numbers we use from the left, right? So this is the numbers we use from the right, the suffix, and this is the numbers we use from the left. And now that we checked everything, we can just return the answer. Oh, we, I, I lied because I, we didn't do negative one, but also, oh, we gotta fix that. Um, if we did all that and best is still equal to infinity, we return negative one. I forgot to change that, but... Apparently, I also had a different typo because we changed the variable name. Uh, okay, that's one more test, not just for one example. Okay, that looks good. Let's give it a submit. Huh, apparently in the past I got it wrong. Hopefully this time I don't get it wrong. Okay, cool. Yes, 802 day streak. Um, cool. Uh, and yeah, in terms of time and space, this is going to be linear time, linear space, linear space coming from this suffix seen away. Um, and time, you know, we just go through the loop once and twice uh and each of them we do a all of one lookup and not much more but yeah uh that's pretty much what i have i'm curious how what, what i did wrong previously uh, uh hmm. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, maybe i misunderstood this one first i just wrote this in a really weird way um hmm. i don't know maybe you can check that video but, uh, but yeah, anyway, that's all I have for that one. Uh, I don't think I have anything to learn. But uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.